I'm delighted to say joining me is Luca Birbaum. Luca, from your point of view, two very good horses you've got here this week. Yes, that's right. Uh, I don't have anything better yet. Uh, and I'm really looking forward for today, but also for tomorrow. Well, and, and looking ahead to the future, I mean, you've got two very good horses here, but also two heading for China as well. They've been over towards Arken and then heading out there in the next few days. Yes, we all have a good show almost every week now in the next five, six weeks. So you have to change horses, of course. Uh, these two, they can't do it all. And uh, next week I will ride Colestos and Zinedine. They are on their way already. Well, if the horse is on their way there already. I mean, you've been involved in shows in uh, China for a number of times. They're, they're getting the music going for us here. But, uh, you know, you've been involved in, in shows in China before now. Flying the horses over there is a big operation, isn't it? Well, yes, it is, but uh, I mean, it's not different than flying them to America, Calgary, Canada, Brazil, or somewhere else. You know, it's, it it pretty much depends on on the facilities flying, and especially to China. In the experience I have and that we have made last year, also going to Shanghai, they had uh, a big plane. All horses were flying in white stalls. Uh, the grooms could join them. So. I think the trip couldn't be more comfortable for the horses. Absolutely. In terms of horses, I mean, horse welfare is obviously paramount. It's almost easier traveling the horses by plane than, than by truck or by lorry these days. Yeah, that's all relative, of course. Easy, what is easier, but uh, it's absolutely right. I think uh, as long as the comfort is good and the horses have space and everything is running smooth and quiet, the grooms are there, they can eat, they can drink. Uh, it, it could be less, a uh, lot more comfortable than driving 15 hours in the truck. Absolutely, and, and from your point of view as well as a rider, you'll be heading out there a little bit later on. Grooms are already going on ahead. I mean, how do you as an operation plan that? I mean, you have to plan your season now based not just on being at the events, but travel to the events. No, oh, I, I mean, uh, you, you get an invitation, you have the calendar of the year, you make your plan a little bit, what you want to do, what your goals are, and then towards this calendar and uh, having your goals in mind and knowing what horses you have at home in the stable you plan your shows and once you have decided which shows you're going to which horses are going to which shows then for sure you go into the details and make the the trip plans uh, the booking of flights having all the paper works in order passports vaccinations and all that kind of things but it sounds pretty complicated, but this is our job. This is what we are daily doing uh, from Monday to Sunday, every single week. So uh, once you are in this and, and you're used to it, it's not so difficult anymore. I was going to ask, I mean, how many people do you have working for you involved in doing all that kind of administration? Well, that's a difficult question. In total, we are 32, but some of them have nothing to do with the planning of the shows or even the, about the show jumping. Uh, we have three people working at the breeding station. We have uh, two people just teaching uh, young horses and uh, young students. So I would say for the show jumping, it's around 15 people. Oh, so it's plenty to keep you on the road from that point of view. And, and looking ahead to Shanghai next week, I mean, it's a market you've been to before now, a great country. I mean, they're, they're really starting to take on show jumping, aren't they? Yes, definitely. I mean. Uh, the industry itself, the horse industry, is still uh, a lot to develop, but we have already a couple of good shows there. We are able now to bring our horses over, which was a massive step to, to organize the quarantine issue, which we had in the past years. So all the potential is there, and uh, I think it's just a question of time that also the industry behind the curtains will develop. Well, it's certainly developing well. One that's fully developed, though, is here in Madrid for this wonderful venue. I'm going to wish you the very best of luck for the Grand Prix, because I know you've got to go and walk the course. So we're going to let you get down there. And uh, just very, very quickly, in uh, your chances in the Grand Prix, what are you riding? Yeah, I think actually quite good. I have a good feeling on Shaman. He jumped really good yesterday. I must say, I didn't walk the course yet, but from what I saw, it looks tough and difficult so it's easy to have a fence down or a mistake but uh, if things are going right I think I have a good chance today. Well you certainly have a good chance Look, good luck to you we're going to let you walk the course and uh, we'll get underway with the Grand Prix very very shortly join us for that.